Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your tarot card reading. My name is Isabel. Today we're going to be discussing what you can expect in life for the month of May 2018. So if you haven't already subscribed to this YouTube channel, then you can hit the subscribe button. If you would like a personal tarot card reading, you can get one at the tarotempress.com. Readings are limited, and if they sell out, then you won't be able to get one until next month. So keep that in mind. You're dealing with a lot of heavy energy, I can tell you right now that it's a, a very complex situation. And some of you are going through a very difficult time. Let's begin your tarot card reading. Some of you are struggling to walk away from a situation, you're struggling to leave a situation and you could be involved with someone and this person could be trying to get away from you or trying to move away from you, okay? And I feel like you want to have another opportunity, you want to extend an offer to this person, you don't want to let them go. You see the potential and the beginning of, you know, a second chance there for you and you want to take it. And you're doing so from a point of view in which you don't want to be alone. You don't like being single. You don't like being independent. You don't want to go back into the dating game. You don't want to start over again. Something is holding you back and you don't want to deal with it anymore. I feel like the person you're dealing with could be, you know, really drained emotionally and they want to get out of this relationship. That's what I'm getting from that. You know, it, you could also be emotionally drained because the Eight of Cups is in reverse. And that's telling me that you are not willing to let this person go, but they are not, you know, receptive to your advances and they're not letting you in. So I think amidst all of this, with the Nine of Pentacles tarot card, you, you are sort of pretending to be okay during this period, but you're not really okay, right? Now, when it comes to this person that you're dealing with, I feel like they are definitely breaking free from this situation. They are looking at it as if they are seeing it from a point of view in which they feel like everything is toxic, everything is not working out in a proper manner. You know, there's a lack of balance and harmony within the relationship. This person could be trying to get a divorce from you. They could be trying to break free from this relationship. And the devil tarot card here is telling me that they're not seeing you in a very positive light. They're seeing you as someone that is either very stubborn, someone that is, you know, um, not going on the right path that's what it's telling me because this one is telling me how you're seeing the situation this is telling me how they are seeing the situation the devil tarot card can also mean that you are dealing with a capricorn individual or it could be any other star sign as well so definitely pay attention to that
Now, in terms of how they are seeing the situation, is telling me that they want to have more harmony in their life. There has been a lack of happiness. There has been a lack of joy and they have felt very drained for a very long time. Now the Page of Swords is talking about the fact that, you know, they are very defensive and it could be due to the fact that there are a lot of challenges within this union. So they have their sword drawn and they are, you know, to them they feel like they've been playing a game with you because if you look at this tarot card, you can see this man standing on a chessboard. So he's contemplating something. And that's telling me that they are contemplating something. They are looking at this relationship from a different point of view in which everything has seemed like it has been a trap and there hasn't been any sort of happiness out of it. I feel like in terms of your energy, you're definitely trying to remain strong during this period. You're relying on your inner strength. I feel like you're not open to communicating with this person just yet. For some reason, some of you guys are trying to pretend like everything is okay. So you're putting on this happy facade. But the communication that you're not receiving from this individual is really tearing you down. Right? The strength tarot card here can be an indication you're dealing with a Leo individual or a fire sign. And uh, since we have the Four of Wands with the Ace of Swords in reverse, it's telling me you're not having a breakthrough. That's not something you can be, like, proud of. You can't really celebrate the lack of a breakthrough or lack of communication or honesty, transparency. I feel like you're putting on this happy face, like you're just doing well and that you're getting on with your day. But everything is just not right because you are trying to control your temptations and desires to not reach out to them, to not come clean to them. You're trying to... Hold yourself back because you're afraid of the consequences. In the past, there was, you know, an offer of love, but it wasn't something that was really, you know, genuine. I feel like there was a possibility of a new beginning and it didn't go as well as someone planned. So someone may have made a disingenuous offer or they may have been, you know, very manipulative, lying or narcissistic. They may have been trying to emotionally, you know, manipulate another individual. And they may have been daydreaming a lot. So they didn't have the courage to go for what they wanted. They held back their emotions and there was a lack of healing. So what I'm seeing from these tarot cards is unrequited love. You had this want or need to have this individual or they wanted you, vice versa. And the love was there, but an offer wasn't extended on time or in the right manner. And something went off when it comes to this relationship. I feel like someone let the other person down. And with that, I'm saying, um, you know, you could have been dealing with a very selfish, controlling individual who was, you know, trying to... Um, you know, help themselves in the situation, or this could have been your energy. But overall, I feel like the timing was off here. Yeah. And the two of you are just, you know, at the standstill in which the love was either given or not received or something like that. It wasn't taken in the right manner. For some reason, you know, things went wrong. When it comes to the present moment, I feel like someone wants to make an offer because they feel really frustrated that things didn't work out. Someone is tired of being ignored. Someone wants to come out of the situation in which they've been emotionally neglected. They're frustrated that they haven't, you know, made progress along the way. They're frustrated that things are moving so slow. They want to see things, you know, move ahead more rapidly. I feel like this is your energy here. I feel like this person is stuck on the paths and they're unable to heal themselves. They're unable to get over the fact that things didn't go as they had imagined it would go with you. So they were expecting this very wonderful and smooth experience with you, but the ride has been very bumpy and they just didn't see potential of it. So when it comes to the future... I feel like there's lots of secrets here. I feel like the two of you were at crossroads. 
I feel there's a lot of hidden unseen factors. I feel like the two of you may have been in a situation in which one person was very manipulative or someone was, you know, taking advantage of the situation. This is actually in the future outcome. So I feel like because of the amount of secrets and things that have not been out in the front, uh, the two of you are, you know, either going to be making a decision and it can involve taking action of some sort. Now, what action is that going to be? Because these three tarot cards are not telling you. But these tarot cards are telling you. There's not really going to be any major change when it comes to this relationship. But there is going to be someone being very aggressive, very blunt, very, you know, angry, very pissed off, very annoyed. Someone is like really on fire right here. And it's the Queen of Wands in reverse. So you could be dealing with a fire sign for some of you. I feel like there's going to be an ending for them. They're going to be cutting you out of their life. But I feel like you're going to be holding on because the dead tarot cards, it's reverse position telling me you haven't learned your lesson as a result of it. They want to cut you out of their life, but you want to hold on. It could be vice versa as well. So definitely pay attention to that. Remember, everything could be vice versa. Yes, yeah, so don't take like a uh, personal sort of... Um, you know, consideration of things if it's applying in the opposite order. So I feel like someone's cutting one person out, the other person doesn't want to move on. You know, they don't want to have that change. They don't want that transformation. They want to hold on to this person because they're comfortable with knowing who this individual is as a person. When I look at these tarot cards, I definitely see a lot of pentacles and most of them are in reverse position. So that's an indication that this has been a very unstable sort of union, right? And the fact that there's been a lack of healing, there's a lack of communication, there's also a lack of happiness in this present day situation just makes the situation even more worse that there are secrets and lies that are being kept from one person. Someone definitely wants to break free, someone wants to leave the situation, they have come out of denial about the situation. They're not seeing you in a very positive manner, unfortunately. And I feel like you're holding on to this illusion of who you think this person is or who you want them to be. Perhaps they are someone you really love, someone you really care about, and you haven't come across a person like this before. But I feel for all those memories that you have with this individual, you don't want to let go. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed your tarot card reading. If you would like a personal tarot card reading, you can get one at thetarotempress.com. I am offering audio tarot card readings Most of them are sold out, so if you are in a hurry, you can grab one before it gets sold out. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Have a wonderful day.